guys, it's Delicracy here, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood. I was about to say season three, but it is only one season. Welcome to part 28. And uh, in the last part, Clarice aged up, and she's in the last couple of parts, she's got a new look. Ah, oh, I hate that orange t-shirt. Why do I hate that t-shirt so much? We've got to change it. We've got to delete that outfit. But anyway, it's Monday. Bailey is eating cake. Uh, I extended the lifespan so she and her friends can age up a little bit later. So, oh, I was going to say, Bailey, you're getting old. <laughs> so, what? Oh, my God. I thought she said it was an adult. So, she's got five days till aging up. So, that just gives us a little bit more time in this Let's Play um, for her to <laughs> get a few more things into her storyline. And also, I felt kind of bad because I've pre-recorded these parts the last whew, five or six parts and I really wanted to get your feedback uh, before we start moving on to her young adulthood. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say in a very long-winded way. Anyway, Bailey is off to school so let's get her to study hard. Actually, you know what? It'd be cool if Bailey actually made some new friends. I'd really like that. And Clarice, it's her working day today, um, but I do want her to... Ah. I really want her to get to level 10. So let's make those business calls and make sure she's in a really good mood for work because <laughs> I'm not taking May. business. Day. What? Make business partners are not at work currently, Lil. How are we meant to get our business calls done? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, we may as well go to the toilet and make that absolutely perfect. Um, and then practice charisma. I guess. <laughs> Practice some storytelling. That should be good. Oh, she's only got an hour before work starts anyway. Well, who knows? Maybe her skill is like almost ready to go up. Kind of, but it's definitely not going to reach the next level in time, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Thank you. Oh, and also the mail today um, might arrive and we might get the gift from Judy for Clarice, which I'm really excited to see. So let's get her to go to work. All right, honey buns. Bailey has met Rain. I don't want her to meet like kids. <laughs> um, let's return the notebook because we know exactly what it feels like to um, to have someone take your diary, don't we? Clarice is off to work. Excellent. Okay, should Bailey invite over classmate Tristan? Well, if he's a teen, yes. Is this is he a teen? Where's Tristan? Tristan, Tristan, here we go. Okay, cool. We have we have a new friend, potentially. Um, she's returned home with a school project. Awesome. That's good stuff. And this is Tristan. Well, let's become friends. Let's monkey around a little bit. What's their relationship? Nothing. I swear in The Sims 2 or The Sims 3, when they met someone at school, they would have like already a bit of a relationship there. And it was really, really good. Because I feel like... If you've met someone at school, you should be at least a little bit in the green. Ask about career. She'd be like, oh, do you have a... Do you have a part-time job, Tristan? Because I was thinking maybe getting one. It's like, yeah, I've been working for a year now at my dad's pizza shop. That's why they call me Pizza Tristan. Uh, okay. And he works at Babysitter's Anonymous. Oh, let's go check the mail. The mail's arrived. What did Judy get Clarice? I'm so excited right now. What's in the letterbox? Bailey has collected everything from the mailbox. Uh, well, does that mean that we got nothing? I don't, I don't, or did we get starter herbs? I don't know what she gave us. I feel like it would have come up with a notification if we got something. Maybe it's just bills. I don't know, you guys. I feel like it would have said if we got given something, but it doesn't. How are we meant to know? I mean, if she had sent herbs, that would have been like so cute, but I don't know. I mean, it says new, so maybe we did get herbs. Oh, I mean, we can always say that Judy was trying to get them to, um, she was, <laughs> she was trying to encourage them to take care of her garden, seeming the garden died. 
freaking oh, out. Oh, girl, girl. Ugh. Trash can is required to clean this up. I thought we had um, bins at this house. I swear I put bins in this build. Well, we can get rid of that. Oh my gosh, you guys have been telling me about this stanky food for so long. Okay, uh, let's get a bin. Or well, you guys in Canada or America call it trash cans, but we call them bins. And I'm pretty sure, what the, it's a flying cake. <laughs> Well, we'll leave the flying cake there. Uh, okay, let's just put the bin there. Sweet. I mean, I like the other bin better, but nobody has like fancy bins. Do you guys have a fancy bin? Cause I was gonna say, that's like incredible. I think Tristan's left. Tristan, no, bad. Naughty Tristan. Ooh, humor and hijinks festivals in town. I kind of want to go, oh my gosh, you know what? We don't have time for this. Clarice could be like, Bailey, can you, oh, oh, oh no. She'd be like, can you please hire a professional gardener? Why can't we do that? Hire a professional gardener. Gardener. Why do I say gardener? Gardener. There we go. And then we can plant this starter herb, the starter herbs together later on. Well, maybe Bailey, like, is she, she's just hungry. Oh, she's got low energy. I really want her to go to the festival, but she's got to pass out again, like last time. Uh, I think we should. Oh, Clarissa has earned a cool $1,600 for a day's work. My God, woman, absolute slay. She looks a bit tired today. Okay, we'll go over to Bailey and <laughs> yell at. I don't think so. Let's call Bailey over. Oh, I love the little fireflies. They look so cute. Like, Bailey, sweetie. Hi, honey. Give her a hug after school. Deep conversation. She's like, look, Bailey, I have something to tell you. Sylvia and her mom are going to be moving in with us. They're struggling a little bit with money, and we... I want to help them out. And I think, you know... We're very into each other, so this is what's gonna happen. Bailey's like, are you serious? But me and Sylvia are not, oh, everything's so awkward between us. Meanwhile, Tristan, why are you even here? I'm trying to story tell, Tristan, leave. I mean, I wanna be friends with Tristan, but I just feel like he's not even that nice to us. Judy Barker is wondering if I want to meet her something. Judy, Judy, just not right now, there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I think what we'll do Arthur, is Clarice could be like Kimura. savage mum and ask him to leave. Wow. She can be like, look, it is absolutely lovely to meet you, Tristan. And I do like your jumper, but goodbye. <laughs> Bailey and I have a few things to discuss. It's like, okay. Thank you, Miss Barker. Okay, ba oh, Bailey's asleep. Ah. Bailey, come on. Oh. Well, that was very polite of Tristan <laughs> to just leave. <laughs> Okay, so I think what we're going to do is quickly have a discussion, express her admiration from ba for Bailey and say, look, I'm so proud of you for taking all of this so well. And I'm really excited to make Sylvia part of the family. And then we could have a vampire. Well, Sylvia and Victoria, that is. <laughs> it's not just Sylvia. It's actually both so Victoria. Anyway, let's invite um, Victoria over. Bailey can, you know what? Bailey can go to sleep, but I feel like she should have something to eat first. So let's just open this up. We have so much food from the other night. Uh, there we go. Um, we'll grab a serving of that. And once Victoria is over, we can ask her to move in with Sylvia. And I know it's like really fast, but it's exciting. Okay, brighten her day. Oh, she's very sad. Oh no, I got her to eat fish. Damn it, damn it. I always do it. I always do it. Oh man. Okay, I want to ask her to move in. Yay. She's like, oh, Sylvia's still in the car. She's refusing to come in. Oh, honey, don't worry, we're gonna make it work. These girls used to be best friends and they'll be best friends again. Yay. Oh my gosh, we need to add extra bedrooms. I didn't even think of this. Where is she, where's Sylvia gonna sleep? We need to do a quick, smart renovation and we don't even have that much money, so that's awkward. Well, they should come in with a bit of cash, cash, cashola. So we've got 5,500 so far, but from them selling their place, we should have enough money to renovate. 
Uh, it's just so funny because I feel like Clarice is so well off because she's like doing so well on her job. Even though she's still not level 10 yet, damn it. She's taking so long. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're a part of the family. And whoa, they brought a lot of money. I thought they were struggling with money. Oh my God. They literally brought... Oh my God, they brought like 90,000 simoleons. Holy moly, we're rich. How did this happen? I'm so confused. Okay, so we need to really think about uh, doing a little, a little quick stick renovation on this house. Whew, okay, so I mean, obviously the parents' room will be upstairs. Oh, that's so cute. Maybe Sylvia could have a room. Uh, I feel like we should copy this room. Mm, this is awkward. Maybe, will this fit? It's not big enough. Hmm. Let's just, let me just see the exterior of the house. It's gonna kind of suck because I don't wanna change what the house looks like, but we're going to have to do it. I think the best spot for a bedroom will be here. Yeah, and we'll just change it a little bit. I want it to be the same size because I feel like the mums don't want like either of the daughters to feel like one's being favored more than the other. Okay, can we like maybe turn this off nighttime? Cool, and then obviously this is not how we want it to be. <laughs> so we'll, like we don't want to have to go through the, we don't want to have to go through the bathroom to get to Sylvia's room. I can't get how rich they just got. That like totally doesn't fit with our storyline at all. <laughs> maybe they just suddenly, maybe Clarice's big promotion is coming up and she got paid really well, <laughs> like really well. She got a very big bonus. Or maybe Sylvia, oh, maybe Sylvia pretended like they didn't have a lot of money. Or maybe like Sylvia had a family member who passed away at the same time. Oh, there's so many, so many options. Maybe we'll go with that. Sylvia brought in a lot of money. I mean, not Sylvia, damn it, Victoria. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Uh, all right, so that's that. I mean, it works from this side and this side. Oh, but Sylvia won't have her own ensuite and Bailey will. Which isn't great, but she's like across from the bathroom, so I feel like that's just really annoying. Maybe we'll make up for that by her having a slightly bigger room, so she so she can't get jealous or feel like she's not loved because she gets the bigger room, even if she doesn't get her own bathroom. And she's going to get an extra window in her room too, which is quite nice. So she gets a little bit of extra light in there. And I just feel like pink, a pinky color would suit her a lot better. Well, she could have a lighter blue. Nah, I feel like Clarice would want her to have whatever she wants. Give her this peachy color. Because life is just peachy. Peachy's got it. Sorry, I play too much Mario Kart. <laughs> uh... And then, of course, we need to change a lot of things in the room because we don't want her room to look exactly like at Bailey's. So we might go like that. Don't know what's going on with that window. Let's get rid of that. Um, maybe she can just have like a nice flat wardrobe. Just keeping it simple. Um, how about we don't have a bush in the middle of her room? And, oh, we could actually, let's go matchy matchy. Let's give her like a purple theme room and then she can have the curtains that match her bed. Like she could go all out and be really spoiled um, for the big move, which you know what? I, d I don't think that's bad. Like I think Bailey would understand that, you know, it's a big move. Like they're moving house to live with Bailey and Clarice and clearly Sylvia doesn't want to. So it's kind of nice that she's being taken care of and getting something a little bit special as a gift because, well, the parents can afford this for the first time. So while she's very lucky, she also hasn't had those luxuries. Uh, the green chair, I'm just not feeling. 
And then the purple is just like too much purple. So now I'm like confused. Let's just go white. Cute. And the bedside tables need to be changed as well. Okay. Fun bedroom. Very chic. Very chic indeed. And they can have like the same rugs and stuff. The mums could be like, look, we didn't want you girls to feel like one of you was more important to us for than the other. So we've kept things as fair as possible. She can have these fairy lights above her bed. And I don't know, I'm not really feeling those pictures in this room. Okay, and what is going on here? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what was happening just then with these tables and how I was making the orientation of this room. All right, so that's cool. Uh, maybe we should just do some kind of mirror above the bed. I mean, that's pretty classy. That, that's nice. That's nice. Oh my God. If I was a teen and had this room, I would be like living. I don't, I don't really like the look of the decals because they're... The hairiness of the sides of the graphic really bothers me a lot. Like that, this one doesn't look so bad actually. That one seems to work a bit better on that purple wall. Actually, that's really cool with the orange. Okay, I changed my mind, I like it. <laughs> changed my mind very quickly. Now, I think Sylvia would definitely be the type of girl to have some cool posters on her wall. She'd be really always into knowing like the most latest and cool kind of bands and things. This is like a band that makes posters of them cooking. Makes total sense. This desk is so small when it can be so much bigger. So let's get a bigger desk. Like totally. Okay. Oh, and Sylvia can get her own computer. Bailey would probably feel a little bit jealous of that. How about both the girls get a new computer? And we've got the money now, so why not? Why not go all out? and the garden will be taken care of. You know what, I don't think she'd want like a green plant. I think she'd want flowers in her room. Mm. I do the orange to tie in with the orange on the wall. I think that's really nice. I think she has a really cool room. Uh, and Bailey, let's get you a computer as well. So Bailey gets the ensuite and a smaller room and Sylvia gets a bigger room and the toilet across the hallway. Uh, maybe Bailey can get like a pink computer to match her chair. Beautiful, so the girls have some gifts. That's nice. And everyone's now a happy, oh my God, we've totally forgot to do the roof. <laughs> Whoops, the daisies, derpy deli. Sorry you guys, there's a lot of building in this part. But you know what, I gotta, I gotta get us organized. What, since when, what happened here? What, what, what? Okay, I think we can probably just do another. I think we should maybe do the roofing this way. And I'm praying that it doesn't go through the wall. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Um, we could actually take it all the way over here and like have, yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it. Yep. Uh, and have just some columns over this side. I think, oh God, no. Oh God, no, 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 N yes. Yes, hunty, okay. Oh God, that one's on, that one's on an angle. Okay, guys, we're, we're making leaps and bounds. <laughs> this, basically this whole, Episode has been organizing the fam and building their house. But hey, this is Parenthood LP. It's not your regular LP. I think we have to take that over one more. You know what? These are these need to be a different color, don't they? There's trees in the way. My God, it's an absolute crisis. And Clarice, hello, Clarice is not gonna stand for a half done job. She's gonna want it done absolutely properly. Oh my God, you guys, I just thought of something. Clarice, 
and Victoria's wedding. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be the wedding of the year in Sims Let's Plays. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, we need ideas. We need venues. We, everyone, like nobody panic, but panic. We need to get this done. Okay, let's bring that in. Okay, my only thing I'm disliking right now is this here, like going through there. I really don't like that. So I'm gonna bring it forward more because I'm just not happy with that. Okay, we could probably put some more plants and things over here maybe. I think this is cute. I mean, it's, it's kind of unique. I know it's not as plain and simple as the house was before, but I still think it's got like a nice look and feel about it. Yeah, I think we'll keep it that way. And nothing's going through into this room, is there? No, it's still perfect. Okay, all right, I hope you guys are happy with that. Hope you guys approve. We could put this little window there. That's kind of cute. It doesn't really make sense though. But hey, they could have like storage up there. It could be a secret ladder that goes up there. Yeah, I like it. Oh my God, all of this so Sylvia can have a room. Extensions, please. <laughs> okay, back to the game. Back to the game. Aww, it looks so cute, this house. I love it. Oh my God, this is such a moment for these two. Let's just do a hug. Let's do a hug for love. Why is she, oh, from the food. How long is this gonna last for? 41 minutes. Aww. They can have a woohoo. I don't want them to woohoo in the bush though. They can woohoo in bed once the girls are asleep. Um, oh, this is awkward. The girls aren't like talking at all. Okay, these guys need to, tease about bravery, what? These girls need to get along. Need to try at least. Sylvia's not gonna be happy though. She's gonna be feeling really weird moving into her friend's house. And he's like, so what do you think about your new, your new room? Maybe Sylvia can have a moment of softness and just explain some of her insecurities. She's like, Bailey, this just feels weird. Your mom's really nice, but it's just a lot to get used to. You know what would be really nice? If Bailey actually went and gave her a hug or something, showed off app, they really have to work up that, um, that relationship. I feel like I'm old enough now that she'd be allowed to go anywhere. You'll always be my baby. Victoria has said you'll always be my baby. It's a bit weird. <laughs> it's a bit too soon, too soon, too soon. Anyway, uh, okay. Wow, she is in like the best mood ever. Okay then. Uh, maybe we should turn this off. There we go. Now, how's Sylvia's mood? Okay, she just needs to go to sleep. Oh, this is so cute. They're both in their pajamas. Maybe they're getting used, used to each other now. Let's obsess about... Ooh, plant a blue or a llama into the workplace. What? Spread rumors about woohoo. I think she's done spreading rumors for a little while. Tell a joke about ducks. Hopefully their first night together is, is at least a little bit fun. But I think she should complain about problems to Bailey and vent a little bit too. Like, it's not it's easy for her. Oh my god, they can hug! They can With hug and make up. Just then, Sylvia sounded like she had a lisp. Anyone hear that? That'd be so cool if she had a lisp. That should be like me. <laughs> Aww. Are they gonna hug? What, they didn't hug? Oh, girls. Okay, I tried too hard. Okay, why are all of her lights on when she's asleep? Auto lights, all lights, there we go. Oh, yeah. Bailey's going to bed too, and now the mums are left to, oh. oh gosh, she needs something to eat. Oh no, she doesn't wanna eat that. Okay, let's get something that Clarice will eat happily and it won't make her devastated. Oh, and we need to clean up the lounge room because Snarf. Clarice is not gonna let that lounge room be out of order for very long. 
She wants the house to be really nice for her new family members. Okay. Oh, oh, and in the, what are they called? Poofs, poof, poofy things. I kind of don't want the stereo in there because it's always gonna be annoying. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think, oh, did the couch move forward slightly? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was just like that. Oh, I love this cream chair. That cream chair is just everything to me. I love it. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, so she's eating something. She's excited to have a new family members. She doesn't look that impressed by that cheese. <laughs> Grilled cheese, does she? Not really. Okay, I think these ladies should have a nice little moment of woohoo. A nice little romance moment together and uh, then they can fall asleep and Victoria, I almost called her Sylvia again, like the billionth time, um, she can stay up and do whatever she wants. Actually, what does she do for work? She's a writer's assistant. Wow, she's only writing level one. Okay, well maybe we should get her to read some books. Aww, break out the candles. Actually, how old is? Victoria. Oh my god, Victoria's aging up too. They're like the same age. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so nice. Aw, oh, you guys. Oh, bless. Okay, well, let's read something so she can work on that reading skill. And it's interesting that Victoria goes to sleep <laughs> and then Clarice is like awake. <laughs> Wonder where she's gonna read the book. Oh, she's like sitting there enjoying the first night in her new house with this gorgeous view. She probably feels like such a queen in this gorgeous home. And Clarice, her lovers in bed. How nice. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna leave this part right here. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, this part was pre recorded, so please leave your comments down below. I'll be checking up on them lots um, so I know what to put in the next part. Anyway, I love you guys so much, and I hope you are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.